go away. Here is Tanmay Teaches. My name is Stephanie Mazan. I'm a developer advocate from Brazil. I work at IBM for almost three years and started learning all the things about Watson, watching a small video from Tanmay. And it's a pleasure to be here today. So, Thank you very much, Stephanie, and thank you for sharing that story. Welcome to another tutorial, everyone. As a matter of fact, this isn't just any tutorial. Today, we have a video about a really special initiative from IBM called the Call for Code. However, before we actually get into that, of course, welcome, Stephanie, to the thank channel. You. Uh, of course, thank you for being on here today. Would you like to just quickly give everyone a quick introduction of what you do at IBM and the kinds of technology you work with? Yeah, that's awesome. So, I'm Stephanie, as I said. I worked in the research lab here in Brazil. I don't know if you know, but there's a research lab here in Brazil. That's the first <laughs> cool thing, right? I have three patents in the machine learning area, wow. especially not only for machine learning, but also related to IoT. As I'm electronic engineering, I like doing this stuff. <laughs> and then I moved for Digital Business <clears throat> Group, and we have a great group of developer advocates. <clears throat> and what's this name, right? My focal idea is to be the focal point between the technologies from IBM to developers. So I'm, I'm today I'm spe a specialist in artificial intelligence, Watson, and IoT. So mm. it's great <laughs> to talk to you because Thank you were the guy that started <laughs> all my job. Okay. <laughs> Thanks very much. So this does tie in quite a bit with the technology that I love to work with. And so specifically though, today we're here to talk about one initiative that actually quite a few different organizations, mainly IBM yeah. and the Linux Foundation, have come together to create. This initiative is called Call for Code. The entire point of this initiative is essentially to help out people uh, to be more prepared for say natural disasters. Uh, in fact, just to share the statistic, over 80,000 people every single day are affected by natural disasters. That's daily people are being affected by severe natural disasters. Yeah. And so in essence, with the call for code, we're trying to take next generation technology that the IBM Cloud provides, like Watson, uh, like blockchain, like IoT that you mentioned, and so much more, even quantum if you're up for it, and basically try to use that in order to solve this problem. And while, of course, we can't avoid natural disasters, what we can do is make sure that everyone is more prepared for when they do strike, so that they are uh, more prepared and ready to tackle uh, what comes after. So, Stephanie, would you like to share a little bit more about the call for code, what it is, uh, and how IBM is working towards it? That's a really good question because people ask me, okay, what's call for code and how can I be prepared for that? Mm -hmm. Because Stephanie and Tanme, we know the technologies, mm -hmm. but how a developer can be prepared, like mm -hmm. they have any solutions already worked. So, the first thing is call for code. I, I really appreciate the initiative because all the things of natural disasters. The idea is to be like a digital hackathon. It's going to it just start it and it's going to, to be end in the in August, in the mm -hmm. the middle to the end of August. And the idea is to present an idea, not only an MVP like a small project, but a solution for natural disasters. But the point is how we are going to show the solutions. How can we start? Do we have any posts like some things? So we wanted to show and give you an idea about the code, the code patterns. I don't know if you talked before yes. in your presentations here, but code patterns are awesome, guys. Some developer advocates from all around, around the world, there are some code patterns that I use to help mm -hmm. too. <laughs> so the idea is to start. So if you want to make a, I don't know, a DJ bot, that it's one of my work, my focus area here, you can get it all the code, just fork on a GitHub and get all the information, mm -hmm. it's easy. So the idea is really to make a small thing you can go from the beginning to the end and get a solution. Mm -hmm. And then you just make some movements, you make some different things yes. and you can just adapt it to natural disasters. Precisely. Stuff. As a matter of fact, the Code Pattern website is going to be on screen right now. And again, the entire point of Code Patterns is to make your life as a developer easier. So when you're developing applications for, say, the call for code, you don't need to start from scratch. You don't need to create your own idea, then build the application, then work on the application. Rather, you can take the building blocks of Code Patterns that already exist, you can forward them on GitHub, you can create your own versions of them, or you can even match up a bunch of different Code Patterns and create your own application entirely using the kind of production ready code that these code patterns provide, written by developer advocates like yeah. Stephanie over here. Uh, the Call for Code website will also be on screen right now, so you can take a look at that initiative. Now, really quickly, Stephanie, can you talk yeah. a little bit about the kinds of technology? 
just the code patterns to work with? Do they work with open source libraries like TensorFlow? Or what kinds of technologies do they work with? That's a great question because sometimes people ask me, okay, you work at IBM, so you're just talking about IBM. <laughs> and I said, no. So the point is, sometimes sellers even <laughs> fight with me because I say <laughs> this, but the point is we, we are open source, exactly. right? So the code patterns are not only for Watson. The first thing, if you get to the website, mm -hmm. there's not a tag for Watson, there's a tag for AI. Mm -hmm. I like to talk about this because we work not only with the Watson APIs, but we work like with projects you can do with uh, TensorFlow or even with machine learning, or Python. You can get to Watson Studio for doing exactly. these things, but you can do it manually. Precisely. So the idea, the tech, the technology, the technologies, sorry, that we have there are like all the things related to artificial intelligence, IoT, blockchain. We have some things related to some industries, exactly. like some solutions specifically for retail, for mm -hmm. banking. And for banking, I have a yes. great question for you, just <laughs> right. to have here. Tell me, why are you here today, <laughs> right? Uh, yes. Banking. You are going to talk something about banking yes. things here, finance? Absolutely. In fact, that reminds me, I'm actually currently here in Brazil uh, for Febrabon, for their Siavi conference here uh, in Siavi 2018, uh, tomorrow at 4 p.m. Uh, here in Brazil. I've got my keynote. And in essence, again, the entire conference revolves around banking, around finance, and so really what I'm trying to do is talk about how I'm implementing artificial intelligence technologies, including IBM Watson, and open source technologies awesome. like TensorFlow and NLTK. Uh, basically using them in the financial services sector as well as how technologies like blockchain aren't limited to just cryptocurrency or finance but they can be used really anywhere where you need transparent secure transactions uh, from one place to another that you can instantly go through. So again, talking about tech technology and finishing off with a little bit of healthcare uh, with a project that you may have heard of uh, that predicts side effects to certain drugs that people may experience even if the neural network has never seen that specific person, that specific body type or demographic, or that specific chemical composition of a drug before in a clinical trial. It's really interesting technology, yeah. so that's why I'm here in Brazil. Yeah, that's awesome. Just to just to add something, I once in my TED talk, I said a great sentence that I want just to share here. Like we have technology to empower mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. right? So uh, that was my main idea in my TED talk. It Absolutely. was to talk like how artificial intelligence is empowering Precisely. people. And it's great, you're going to show how it's empowering not only the financial sector, but Precisely. health and all this stuff. So thank you. welcome to Brazil. <laughs> thank you, glad to be here in Brazil. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining in today. Again, thank you very much, Stefan, for joining in today uh, on the channel. And a small joke, guys. <laughs> when you see this video, you can say you learned something from Stephanie, too, okay? <laughs> <laughs> for thank sure. You. <laughs> you can do that. Bye. Will, of course, thank you. There will be links to everything that we just mentioned, including the call for code and code patterns down in the description below. Uh, apart from that, though, Stephanie, just in case someone wanted to contact you, how can they do that? Yeah, um, we can put our my GitHub yes. here too. Perfect. I have an about me. Great. It's about dot me. It's uh, Stephanie Mazon, but you can put the yes. link here that because I have be my GitHub. All the Absolutely. videos. I am. A, I try to be a YouTuber too, but that's nice. That's nice. Great. So perfect. So there will be links to Stephanie's YouTube channel down there about me down in the description below. But apart from that, if you really did enjoy this tutorial, make sure to leave a like down below. And apart from that, if you have any more questions, suggestions, or feedback, leave that down in the comment section below. You can contact Stephanie on the contact description, or you can email me at tajimani@gmail.com or tweet to me at tajimani. Apart from that, if you really do like the content on this channel and you do want to subscribe, subscribe to be notified whenever I do release new content. You can do that down below as well. And then, of course, if you'd like to receive an email whenever I release new videos, you can do that by clicking on the little bell icon below as well. Again, thank you very much. Thank Stephanie. you. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.